I'm Kazaha. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Chewan. Hi, I'm Yunjin. Hi, I'm Sakura. Nice to meet you. This project it focuses on the idea of these anxieties under all that confidence that that you guys display on stage and through your music. And I was first curious when I was listening through the album why this message felt important to you at this moment in your story. I think the one thing we always try to do is to be as um, transparent and honest as we can in terms of the emotional growth that we've gone through or the um, thoughts or um, like worries that we are having in the moment. Um, so for Easy, I think we just wanted to uh, speak about everything we have been speaking about in a, like a, an accumulate, like a culmination. Um, of ideas, but also with the added dimension of um, being a little more vulnerable and honest in terms of um, the effort that it actually um, takes to, or the effort that it took for us to be able to speak about those things. I love how much involvement you all had on this album from a behind the scenes perspective too. And so I would love to hear what each of you loves about flexing your creative muscles in those different spaces, in a little bit of songwriting, in the production space, and being in the studio. How did it feel to kind of move in those different different areas for you? Um, I yeah, I totally agree with that and I always feel like I have more of a connection to music when I know that people are, are involved in that capacity. So I totally hear that uh, come through in this project. But um, do each of you have a preference? Is it, it, I would love to hear a preference between being in the studio or being in dance practice. So speaking of dance practice, the music video for Easy was directed by Nina McNeely. Uh, I would love to hear a little bit about the whole process of shooting the music video and if there were any standout days for each of you. Because that, that, I know it's different from the teaser, but the teaser was so cool and so funny. And I know our sweet youngest, I know she was not able to join us today, but she committed to that fall down the stairs. She was acting with a capital A. But tell me about the video a little bit and if there were any days that really felt special for you all. Nina McNeely is so amazing and I loved her um, work with Doja Cat and The Weeknd and it was so crazy to first hear that she would be working with us and um, I think actually she said that she would like to work with us like she was very like um, I guess like forward like oh yeah I would love to work with the Seraphim and so to know that she wanted to work with us that much was so crazy and such an honor and um, she's very as a choreographer herself she's very knowledgeable like about performance and dance so um, the way that she kind of incorporated her experience in um, the dance field into our music video was very cool. Um, like there is this one scene where we have like a snap part in the dance and the way that she like had the whip go in and the whip go back out and then like the person would change and then we'd be dancing and stuff. Once you see the music video, it'll make sense, but that scene was very, very interesting and I loved it. So when it comes to the choreography for that song as well, you all are so great at synchronization. It's definitely something noticeable about you as a team. And so with this song, I know that you worked on incorporating a lot more old school hip hop elements. And so how do you feel that related to performing as a group? And, and was that kind of a challenge for you guys or was it just kind of operating in a different space? What did that feel like? 
저는 진짜 처음으로 해보는 스타일의 춤이라서 뭔가 처음 배울 때도 엄청 낯설었고 되게 어려웠던 기억이 있는데 근데 뭔가 칼금 지금까지는 저희는 칼금으로 다 각도도 구도도 맞춰서 했었는데 이번에는 좀더 자연스럽게 다 각자가 보여주고 싶은 대로 하는 그런 방식의 퍼포먼스라서 어 뭔가 오히려 더 어려웠던 점도 있는데 계속 그 연습을 하다 보면 뭔가 그런 퍼포먼스는 진짜 다 같이 즐기는 그런 무드가 있을 때잘 나오고 뭔가 저희도 미국에서 한번 촬영 퍼포먼스 촬영을 했는데 그때도 뭔가 그런 다 같이 즐기는 뭔가 그 무드가 되게 이 곡에서는 중요하다고 많이 느꼈던 것 같아요. You guys had such a great year last year, and I feel like you really made the most of the whole year. Perfect night came in right at the close and just nailed it. And I feel like that totally broke through to people who don't always listen to K-pop or are new to K-pop, and that was really, really fun to see. But I'm just so excited for you guys because you have Coachella on the horizon, which is. Huge. Um, so I want to hear your thoughts around that. I know festival culture is a big part of South Korea as well, especially in universities. But big American festival. Coachella를 소개 됐다고 들었을 때 너무 너무 실감이 안 났고 사실은 지금도 사실 실감이 <웃음> 잘안 나는데 너무 예전부터 꿈꿔왔던 무대여서. 근데 그 무대를 이렇게 생각보다 빠르게 쓸수 있게 되어서 너무 너무 신기했고 너무 너무 영광이었고 어 뭔가 그 무대를 통해서 르세라핌이라는 팀을 더 알리고 싶은 것 같아요. 되게 좋은 기회라고 생각을 해서 아주 열심히 준비 중입니다. Do you think at the moment you're feeling more nervous or more excited? Right now, I think it's nervous. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <Definitely> nervous. <laughs> So that you still got some time to really lock down that yeah. performance. <laughs> totally. Mm, yeah. Well, you guys are going to crush it. I am not worried. And was there anyone else on the lineup where you were really excited to see that they were there as well? That so, might... many <laughs> so, so many people. So many people. So many people. Lana and Tyler and Flo yeah. and Jungle and yeah. Doja and so many, so many artists. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, and one of my favorite things to ask in groups, I would love to hear if there was something that you'd want to brag about your bandmate that happened recently. If you want to love on one of your members right now or something that happened where you were like, oh, I really admire that about you. Anything you've noticed about one of your members that you'd want to shout out? 저는 이번 앨범을 녹음하면서 지하의 목 약간 음색? 노래하는 목소리가 너무 좋아서 특히 이지나 약간 R&B 쪽에 부를 때 주하의 목소리가 너무 새로운 매력이라고 생각해서 멋있다고 느꼈습니다. Also, I would love to highlight the fact that all five of us um, have participated in um, the lyrics for this album. So yeah, when you look at the track list, you'll be able to spot each and every one of our names. So I think that is also something to brag about. I noticed that, and like I said, I really do think it helps foster that connection between guys, the artist and the fans, or the listener. Um, but before we wrap up, um, is there anything we haven't touched on that you think is really important to share about this album, or a message to your thoughts, anything else you'd want to share? So our, tight, or our first uh, our intro track for this album is called Good Bones, and it's based off a poem by um, Maggie Smith of the same title and I just wanted to highlight the last section of that poem which is this could be a beautiful place we can make it a beautiful place and I hope a lot of our um, listeners could take away that message from this album because you know despite all the you know gritty um, very hardcore messages that we put across we also have that um, very uh, hopeful side as well um, in terms of making the world a better place.